All right, guys, and welcome back to Two FC, aka Two Footballs Combined, and Palace set more records. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Oh, first ever team in a top flight season to lose five, the first five games without scoring a fucking goal. Woo hoo! We love having the records. Um, it's just this. This game was just a carbon copy of last week. Early goal. We have the better attempt. Can't fucking score. Oh, it's just awful. Joel Ward, fuck off. You, Martin Kelly, and Wayne Hennessy, get the fuck off our team. We don't fucking want you. You, Martin Kelly, didn't even play today, and he probably would have made you look good. Wayne Hennessy actually didn't have too bad a game, bar the goal, which was technically his fault. But Joel Wall, what? We might as well have been playing with 10 men the whole game. He was fucking awful. Couldn't pass a ball, couldn't cross a ball, couldn't control a ball, couldn't do fucking. And then he had the audacity. The audacity in the 93rd minute to take a fucking shot on. Piss off, Joel. Stay in defence, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck my life. Right, fifth minute. The only goal of the game. Tadic played really, really well. Uh, crossed the ball in. Uh, like I said, it was Wayno's fault. Ball crossed in. Could have caught it possibly, but he parries it straight. To Stephen Davis, who just passes it into the net. All he had to do was get it on target because Hennessy was still on the ground from parrying it. And obviously, Joel Ward was on the fucking line. So it was getting in, wasn't it? Um, it was. Other than parrying it straight to Davis, that's basically the only thing Hennessy had to do. But so be it. That was the only thing I've written down for Southampton. Not that I've written a lot down because, again, like I said, it carbon copy of last week. Better attempts for us, but still a boring, boring game. Fifteenth uh, minute, slip from Nathan Redmond. Uh, Townsend passes it to Loftus Cheek, who, by the way, before I carry on, was fucking quality. Loftus Cheek, take a bow, son. Taking him off for, uh, who was it, Sacco he brought on. Was it Sacco he brought on for, yeah. Milivojevic came on for McCarthy, yeah. Bringing Loftus Cheek off for Sacco. Bakary Sacco, not even Mamadou. Fucking Bakary Sacco. Hodgson, you've lost your fucking mind, son. Um, Loftus Cheek, who instead of shooting, which, which one touch bang, shoot it. Foster could have saved it, but shoot, he tries passing it along the deck. Uh, Benteke, really, really poor, saved by Forster, ends up going out for a corner. Uh, 29th minute, Ruben, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, uh, again, 1-2 of Benteke. Um, he takes a decent shot, really low, just wide. 30th minute, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, <laughs> fucking hell. He... He's got the ball, he goes on a lovely little run, three stutter, three stutter dummies, takes a shot, blocked, goes out for another corner, and that was half time. I've literally written one thing for the second half. That is how much fun the second half was. And that was the 48th minute, where it was just a melee of cluster fuckiness. It was just mental how we didn't score. I, I, I will never know until the end of fucking time. Loftus Cheek. The man, down the right, crosses it in. It gets a, a touch off of uh, one of their defenders, misses that punching, and someone else, I think it might have been, I don't know. Who was in the middle? I don't know. Whoever it was. Um, goes straight past, comes out to Benteco, tries a 1-2 with Kabai. Kabai a bit, he overhits it a bit, um, misses Benteco completely, but lucky enough, Jeff Schluck, is running in, he gets the ball, he passes it along the six yard box again, punch and gets a fucking touch, gets quite a firm touch of the ball, and Fraser fucking Forster's there, saves the fucking ball, 
Oh, I don't know how it didn't go in. It was literally just backs against the wall for Southampton at that point. Absolutely mental. Oh, my God. How we didn't score a goal, I will never understand in the past two games. I just do not know. So, yeah. Literally a carbon copy of the Burnley game. An early goal. <laughs> And we couldn't, could not do shit about it. We looked good other than Joel Ward being on the team. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, my man. <laughs> Fuck. Ledge, mate. Absolute diamond. Um, Kabaya played really well. A few dodgy, dodgy passes. <laughs> Jimmy Mack played well again. Benteke. I don't know what the ref was looking at. <clears throat> but definitely in the first half, when these long balls were going up to Benteke and he was nodding him down, I'm pretty sure I, every single time, maybe not every single time, but 9.999% uh, 9 times, 9.999 times out of 10, he was getting held. There was fucking arms wrapped around him like a fucking octopus on whatever the fuck octopi ate. Yeah, I said octopi, not octopuses. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not one. We had one free kick around the edge of the box and we should have had a lot. But I am baffled how we didn't get fuck all out of that. But yeah, if Joel Ward ends up playing again, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hennessy, I can kind of have, we have to kind of stand him. We have to. Joel Ward, though. Just really. No, just get him off the team now. Just just get him off the team. Can't be doing that no more. Just can't. He's played shit for a long time now. And we just can't. Just, just can't do it anymore. No, no, no. So, yeah. There we go, guys. Five games in. Five losses in. Zero goals scored. It's just, it's painful, it's very painful, but the, the tiniest silver lining in this whole, whole thing, tiniest, tiniest silver lining, is there's only one way <clears throat> from the bottom. There's only one way from the bottom, and that's up. Unless we get relegated, then it's another way. But for the next 33 games, there's one way, and that is up. And that includes overtaking Brighton some fucking how. I don't know. They've got fucking, is it three points, four points? Three points. Did they draw and win? I know they definitely won last week. I can't remember. But either way, they've got more points than us. And I'm fucked off because they've scored as well. Scored, what, four goals now? Three goals? Oh, whatever. So far, Brighton are doing better than us. And this is taking the piss. So yeah, <laughs> next three games. So we've lost 1-0. Well, I'm, I'm predicting we're going to get thrashed next week, thrashed the week after, and thrashed the week after that. And if we score a goal against any of them teams, then I don't, I, I don't understand. But surely if we lose the next three games, Hodgson's got to be gone. He's got to have been gone, hasn't he? If we lose the next four games, that's how long he left left Frank De Boer in charge. Might as well start looking for new managers now because we're fucked the next three games. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, check everything out in the description. And boost.